everyone back to Red Ted Art. Yes, it's time to wreck this journal. The journal where you help me wreck it. There's two ways you can join in. Either you do the weekly challenges that I do, so you kind of replicate my ideas, or you choose at the end of the video which page you'd like to see me work on next. This is a special week because I've got three projects in this one, so you get uh, three instead of two. But anyway, come on. Let's wreck this journal. So the page that I've decided to work on today is this one, mainly because somebody pointed out quite rightly that my spine is starting to get quite thick uh, and it's probably a good time to do it now. So um, yes, let's have a look. I've got to keep it simple, I think, because it's messy. Uh, so I've decided to just use some marker pens and color it with those, not marker pens, um, highlighters. So yeah, let's have a go. There we go. Very simple, I know, but mainly because my book's getting so thick already. Although, what I did want to point out, did you notice how overlaying the yellow with the pink gave you this lovely orange? I do love a bit of colour theory. Isn't that great? Now, let's go back to the page itself. Here we go. And um, should we replicate it? Let's see, just to sort of remind us of what we did. I feel like doodling. Now if my pages hadn't been that messy already, I, that's what I would have done on this side. So I'm going to doodle, um, maybe with the other pen, just some circles I think. what I would have liked to put on my spine. Finished! So come on then, let's look at the next challenge. So the page that I've chosen to do today is the, put my ring on, blue <laughs> a random newspaper page here. Now I checked this page just to see what was there. I've got very dirty fingers from painting earlier on. It says Sozo's page. Now I do want to do this page too. So I'm going to work on an extra sheet of paper that I'm going to stick in and then later glue to the other one so that I can do both. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to start off by using watercolours and then I will use newspaper, I promise. So let's just start with the watercolours and take it from there. trying to create sort of like a, a starry night effect. I haven't tried this before. I've got some white paint and uh, just trying to make it a bit wetter. So this is nice white, wet paint. <laughs> and I've got, this is quite a stiff old brush. It's not a very good one, but I haven't done this before. It's going to be very messy, isn't it? There we go. Oh, it's working. Do you think? Not as bad and not as messy as I thought. So just turn that into a moon. Get another brush. This will be my moon, which is okay. There we go. See, mistakes aren't problems. And you know what? If you make two of these blobs by mistake, you can have two moons. Leave that dry and then we'll add our newspaper because we still haven't put newspaper on have we so come back to that in a minute okay so that's drying i've cut out some columns from a newspaper yes finally some newspapers and now i just want to give them all um slightly different uh sort of shapes
is our city nightscape finished. I think it turned out really nicely. Anyway, let's get on and see what you challenged me to do next. Okay, here we go. You guys voted for, yep, freeze this page. <laughs> Thanks again. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna take my sharp scissors and I'm gonna separate it out because obviously I'm not gonna freeze the whole book. Right, got the page. Come on then, let's go and freeze it. So here we are, got some Tupperware, got my page. Pop it in the bottom of the Tupperware. Pour over some water. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go and pop it into the fridge. Well, actually into the freezer. I'm gonna put quite, oh, it's bending over. I'm gonna put quite a lot of water in. I'm going to then do something with it, but we shall have to wait and see what that something is. <laughs> back and see it frozen. Yep, here we go. It's rather frozen. I'm gonna let it frost a little bit and then we're gonna see what to do with it next. Okay, so it's just been out a few minutes and I can now get it out of the uh, dish. You can see here, it's a block of ice. There's a sheet of paper in there. And I thought, because we've got this big block of ice, why not have a bit of play with it? So what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if you've had this done this before, is you take some ice, you take some salt, and you take some, well, this is actually food coloring water down. And you can see the effects of ice on water and the sort of temperature. So what ice does, it doesn't melt the water, but people think it melts the water. What it actually does is it lowers the freezing temperature. You can hear it crack. <laughs> and it'll st start making the water go, oh, can you hear that? My children are here, liquidy. I think it's that. No, it was the, it was the ice cracking. Okay, so we put some ice on, and then- You mean salt. Salt, yes. <laughs> can you hear it ping? Just listen. I okay, not a ping. Now, I'm doing this outside because I'm gonna let this melt out here and just drip down. And I don't really want water everywhere inside and I also don't really want uh, food colouring anywhere inside. But outside I don't mind and I want to see if any of this colour ends up on my final page. It might not. As always it's an experiment. <laughs> it might. And then we're going to have a look at the page once it's totally defrosted and once it's totally dried. Let's do different colours. It's in there. The page is in there, yeah. Mm -hmm. It said for, this has got this is the actual food colouring, that lump there. I thought, why don't we did just have it? Did you pull it out? I did. It's a bit more food colouring. The page, yeah, I had to cut it out. And then are you going to stick it back in? And then afterwards, once it's dried, we'll see what it looks like and we'll stick it back in. got a bit bored so we've got the hairdryer out. Come on then. this page which I'm now going to gently tape back in it's already got a bit of tape from when I used the previous page 
and that's it. I'm not going to do any more on this one actually. I think it's fine the way it is. I think it looks really lovely and really great and I enjoyed the process. So once that's glued in, let's shut the page and see what we'll be doing next week. Will it be throw something, a pencil, a ball dipped in paint? Will it be find a wear, way to wear the journal? Will it be write backwards again? Or will it be turn this book into a shoe? Remember, I poll up here, you choose what I do next. So keep voting and keep watching. Keep watching, creating, and of course, we'd love to see you again soon. Take care, bye.